Hey guys, I'm back. So today I wanted to talk to you about meal prep and some really great ideas that you can use to make meal planning easier, to make it so you have no choice but to eat healthy and you don't fall victim to just eating whatever is in the fridge because all you're going to have in your fridge is good things. So the first tip is don't buy the junk. Don't buy the stuff that you are going to sabotage yourself with. If you like cookies and you can just eat 15 cookies at a time, don't don't buy cookies. Uh, if you are a chocolate person, don't buy chocolate. If you are a wino, maybe don't buy as much wine. Just try to keep the things that uh, you tend to gravitate towards when you're feeling stressed or when you're just hangry. Keep them out of your cabinets, out of your fridge, out of your closet, and you won't have to eat them. That's tip number one. Number two, Make as much as you can ahead of time. And I know like sometimes making vegetables ahead of time, they don't taste as good. So if you're unable to, uh, but if you're unable to make them like right when you want to eat them, it does help making them ahead of time. And I used to do this before, like when I was working full time, I would cook a bunch of like Brussels sprouts, roasted Brussels sprouts, or I would cook a bunch of asparagus at the same time and portion it up. So I had, uh, things that I can grab and go. Um, another thing you can do too is boil a bunch of eggs all at once. The trick to boiling eggs is you put them in the pot and you boil the water. Bye babe. Have fun at the gym. Uh, you boil them uh, and then you wait for the, the water to boil and then you take them off the heat and you cover them for 12 minutes and you get perfect hard boiled eggs every single time. Um, Another thing you can do too is cook a bunch of chicken at one time, cook a bunch of ground turkey at a time. You can always freeze things, so utilize your freezer, portion it ahead of time, and then put the excess in the freezer so it doesn't go bad. Uh, you can break bananas in half and freeze those for your shakes, so you can just take it out of the freezer and throw it in. There's a ton of things that you can do. Those are just a few of the things that I do. Um, sometimes I'll like to make a bunch of quinoa at a time so I can just kind of scoop it out and eat it. Um, you can do overnight oats. That's a great thing. You just have to be careful with what recipe you're following. There are some that are a little, um, a little bit too heavy on the almond milk and peanut butter and all of those things. So you still want to make sure you're maintaining your container counts. Um, for those of you who don't eat meat, I don't eat red meat or pork, um, for right now anyway. I haven't for about two years. But those of you who don't eat any meat at all, you can still prep ahead of time. I know that seafood sometimes, that's the only thing I don't make ahead of time just because I don't like reheating fish in the microwave. It's just not my thing. Um, but if you reheat it in the pan, it doesn't taste rubbery and it still comes out really well. So if you want to make a bunch of salmon at one time or a bunch of shrimp or even, um, I mean... Some, some crab cakes are even really good. You just have to make sure that they don't have a lot of breading in them. So any, any shellfish is great. Any kind of fish is great. Tuna fish is super easy to make. Um, you don't have to make that ahead of time. I don't think it's, it's super simple. Uh, but some other tricks too for if you're making tuna or you're making egg salad or chicken salad or any of those kind of like mayonnaise salads, use hummus instead or use avocado instead and it'll make them a lot healthier and it'll satisfy your blue container and plus I think it tastes better than mayonnaise. I hate mayonnaise. I think it's disgusting. Um, but yeah, so those are a couple of tips that you can do. As far as snacks goes, it's really easy and great to pair a healthy fat like avocado or hummus or almonds or even uh, your teaspoons like peanut butter, almond butter with a fruit or with a vegetable. Those are great snack options, a healthy fat and a fruit or a vegetable. Um, and another thing too, you want to make sure you're spacing out your protein. So make sure that you have protein, at least depending on how many you need to eat on your containers. But you want to have it spread out. You don't want to eat all of your protein in one meal. Oh, I'm making burping. In one meal, uh, you don't want to eat all of your carbs in one meal. You want to kind of spread them out. If you want to really be good, try to get all of your fruit and carbs in before like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. And then after three, just eat your vegetables and your proteins and stuff like that. Um, especially those of you who are looking to lose weight, that's just a trick uh, to get all the carbs and fruit in in the morning. And then if you are someone who hates vegetables, 
put spinach in your shake, you'll get an extra veggie in that way. So that's one other trick that I know a lot of people use. And I did have one more, and I should have wrote it down. Um, shit. Oh, if you look on your food list, this is super important. If you look on your food list, everything on that list per container is written in order of healthiness, I guess. So the items at the top of your list are going to be the best options. So if we're talking carbs, we're talking quinoa, we're talking sweet potato, yams, things like that. Um, the only carbs I really eat are quinoa, sweet potatoes, and Ezekiel bread, and oatmeal. Those are the only four carbs that I eat. Um, not saying that you can't eat any other carbs, but if you really want to do the best with your meal plan and you're looking to really make a shift in the way you're eating and your health, then try to pick the foods at the top of each list because those are going to be better for you. Um, so if you have any questions about meal planning, meal prep, anything, and maybe if you found some really great tips while you've been searching, um, please share them below. I have a website that I'm going to share in a comment below that you guys can look at to help you come up with a meal plan and kind of space out your containers. So I'll share that with you. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm here. And I'm super excited for the health bet. It's going to be amazing. We're all going to get healthy and fit together and win some money. So, I mean, you can't beat that. All right, guys. Have a great day. Happy hump day. Bye.